Hello friends, welcome to School Student. Today we are going to see a very interesting and important topic for the 12th graders. That is, a maximum mark from this topic you can get is a 3 mark question. Okay, so in coordination compounds, this is a very important topic. So please do pay attention and listen. Okay, so this will be very, very helpful for you for scoring that 3 mark. So this is a very easy and interesting also. Okay, let us see what is going to happen in this metal carbonyls. Usually bonding takes place in, uh, in some protocols. Okay, but in this coordination compound, the metal carbonyls are formed in a different way. We get two different terms in this place. Okay, the first term is back bonding. The second one is synergic effect. Due to this synergic effect, we got that back bonding, okay? Due to this synergic effect, we got that back bonding. Now, let us see what is this metal carbonyl and how the bonding takes place. Carbonyls are nothing but C double bonded to oxygen. So, these are carbonyls and this carbon is further attached to two more atoms okay now see let us go with the simple basic example okay see metal carbon and oxygen okay so see this is double bond and the example we can have here as Nickel CO4. This is the complex. Okay. Now, see this metal atom. Consider this metal atom as nickel. So, nickel belongs to D block element. A D block element will be having 5 orbitals. Okay. So, since this is having 5 orbitals, we can draw them for, for an easy reference. We can just draw them, okay? See. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. See, we drew this. And for carbon, carbon belongs to P block element. P block element will be having 3 orbitals. 1, 2. 2, 3 and oxygen also a P block element. So that also will be having same 1, 2 and 3. Okay. See now the main mainly uh, let us just fill 4 of the orbitals of the metal atom. See, according to the given criteria, the orbitals must have filled electrons. Okay. And this carbon also will be having a filled orbital. Okay. See, now just pay attention. A sigma bond is formed between metals and carbonyls carbon. So, this is the carbonyl and carbonyls carbon will be getting bonding uh, bonded with the metal okay so carbon by overlapping of pi 2p orbital of carbon and empty d orbital of the metal atom okay so this is what will happen see as this is getting bonding with this we will be getting a sigma bond a single bond will be getting so what is that single bond sigma bond okay see after this let us go for the term what is that synergic effect see what is the synergic effect the increase in strength of sigma bond that results in back bonding is called synergic effect so back bonding is formed due to this synergic effect what is the synergic effect the increase in strength of the sigma bond that's it how the sigma bonds uh, strength is getting increased See, this carbon is donating electron to this metal atom. Okay, as this is sharing the electron with the metal atom, the bond, the bond is so much stronger. Okay, and hence we get a strongest bond between this metal and carbon. And that we attained through the sigma bond. After this, 
let us go to the second point what is this the filled d orbital of the metal atom filled d orbital okay this is what these are the filled d orbitals overlap with the empty pi star 2p orbital okay pi star 2p orbital is what this carbon empty orbitals so this is getting bonded with this one see bond so this is what sideways overlapping due to this sideways overlapping what kind of bond we will expect we will expect pi bond so this is what the pi bond is sideways overlapping in grade 11 you might have read this pi okay so we got a triple bond here pi sigma pi triple bond we got okay that's it we are done hence the metal carbonyl is formed so this metal first you have to just write this m and uh, fill four of the orbitals and leave one empty and carbon take three orbitals and have a uh, two as empty okay and just do bond for the central orbitals these two if you do bond here automatically you will get the point of synergic effect and also you will get the back bonding why we are saying this is back bonding because usually a ligand c a ligand will donate electron to the metal atom but here the metal atom is donating electron to the ligand okay so we are saying this as back bonding that's it so this is uh, this is how the pi bond is formed and hence we got the metal carbon that's it we are done with the three mark and this three mark is in your pocket now grab it and use for your exam and use this points for writing in your examination this will be really really helpful for you in getting that three marks okay draw this diagram keep this as example explain this three points that's it we are done thank you friends for watching my video and please subscribe my channel bye bye